Good morning, everybody. What is up? My name is Control for Days. Uh, today, we are running through a brand new episode of what I like to call clinical research. Me being a Yawgmoth player, uh, we are going to be delving into a new deck today um, for the sake of science, to better our knowledge so we know how to play against the deck and so we have a better understanding of how the deck functions. Today's deck is adjacent to Yawgmoth in that it's another creature combo deck with quite a bit of overlap in terms of some of the cards that are used. Um, the version that I'm running today was pulled off of a 5-0 uh, dump uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks, and the deck itself is Devoted, Devoted Druid Combo. Um, not a deck I've ever run before, not a deck I'm intimately familiar with, so that's part of the reason why I'm playing this today. And with the printing of Phyrexia All Will Be One, this deck got a couple of new cards to play with, so I'm curious to see how they perform in this list in today's league. Uh, the two new cards that we're running today are Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler, uh, which you saw in last week's uh, 5-0 video. And we also have Tyvar's Stand, which reads, Target creature you control gets plus X plus X and gets hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. So this, along with Vizier and Devoted Druid, are another way to facilitate a combo. Swing with a bunch of creatures, use Tyvar's Stand, and get the kill that way. Um, there's a Stoneforge package within the deck. You can get Luxior, which combos with Devoted Druid, Viridian Longbow, which combos with Devoted Druid and Vizier, or, or you can just go value and uh, get yourself a Cauldron and just start beating down. Uh, the Devoted Druid combo of Devoted Druid and Vizier of Remedies, um, or Luxior, produces infinite mana, so you can combo with Walking Ballista, uh, pumping it up infinitely, and then just pinging your opponent down. Uh, you can also combo with Lair of the Hydra, uh, where you just make it infinitely big and attack. Um, and that's kind of the gist of the deck. And you also have Giver of Runes to protect your combo. You have Fiend Artisan to fetch for your combo pieces, as well as Eldamri's Call uh, to do so as well. Fiend Artisan feels like a relatively new addition. I'm not sure if it's stock or not within these lists, but I think with Tyvar, Fiend Artisan has gotten better, so I think people are starting to test that a little bit more so. It's a card that we love to see as Yawgmoth players. Uh, it's one of our like pet cards, so to speak. Looking at the sideboard, I made some changes to the sideboard. There was an Orvar in the list that I, I had downloaded. I'm not a fan of that card, so I got rid of it. Um, added an extra Sanctifier and Vec, which is kind of like the trump card against Scam. Uh, Burnton Forge Tender, which is really good against uh, Fury. Uh, and then the Solitude is just like a target for the, the call in case of emergency. Our value cards that we're very familiar with as Yawgmoth players, uh, Force of Vigor, Endurance, we got three and two. Uh, two Veil of Summers, uh, a Grist, happy to see Grist our good friend Haywire Might, and then an Embercool for, uh, to deal with Mill, or you can actually just hardcast it in this deck if you, if you want to. So that's what we're running today. That's our 75. I'm excited to jump into a league with this deck, the adjacent creature combo deck, uh, one of them in the modern format. Let's see how we do. Let's go. All right, what is up, everybody? We are in our first match of our modern league. We are playing against Poderosissimo. Uh, our opening seven, I think, is a little light on lands. We have the ability to find our combo, um, but I think I think this is a mulligan, and we are we're also on the draw here. Uh, let's go down to six. I think six card hands to keep. Uh, we got a potential stone forge plan. Uh, we can just go value, get a cauldron, and just start being down. And then in terms of what we get rid of, I think we definitely want this catacombs. Maybe get rid of this godless shrine. I think I'm gonna get rid of the shrine here. Got ourselves some basics. Man is looking good. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Let's go. Turn one horizon mirror match. No, this is a uh, playing against hammer here. And I would imagine this deck's hammer matchup probably isn't terrible. All right, drew another land, which we did not want. We're just going to fetch a basic here. Basic forest. Right now we're looking like a Yawgmoth deck, um, which is fine. NBD. Turn two, depending on what they do, I might play out this Tyvar. See if they go 
Okay, drums, so they're not playing. Okay, this is a super slow start from our opponent. I think turn two, we're going with this Tyvar. Or we can go Stoneforge into Giver, and then Tyvar next turn. Or what I can do is I can go Tyvar, untap the Giver, or untap the bird, play out the Giver. I think I might like that better. And next turn, we can play out Stoneforge and activate it on the turn. So I think our opponent might be a little confused. They thought we were on Yogg here. <clears throat> All right. Our opponent plays out a land and passes the turn. They're really not doing much of anything here. They will have a hammer next turn. We can block and give a creature protection. Luxior. What's the equip cost here? Three. So if we Tyvar minus and find ourselves a devoted druid, we can just go infinite here. But I don't know that we necessarily have a way to kill. Hmm. Or do we just go like Stoneforge into Cauldra? And then have protection up for that? Hmm. I think I'm going to start with a fetch here. So we'll play out our Marsh Flats. We'll fetch. And I think we'll get our Overgrown Tomb or our Temple Garden. I think we'll get our Temple Garden here. Hmm. 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 This is a little tricky, I feel like. And now do we minus the Tyvar? I think we're gonna minus the Tyvar here. Let's mill C3 and we'll see if we find a creature. Okay, found ourselves a Fiend Artisan and a Vizier. So yes, the question is do I want Fiend Artisan or do I want Vizier? I think I want Fiend Artisan here, which is currently a 2-2. And now I can Fiend for a Devoted Druid but I won't be able to equip the Luxior. So maybe I go Stoneforge. This is tricky. Okay, I think I'm gonna play out the Stoneforge here. And I might just I might just get myself a Cauldra. I know the Longbow. Longbow gives me a kill, but I think we'll go for the kill next turn. I think we're gonna get a Cauldra here. My opponent says lag check. No, just thinking. Just thinking, I don't know what I'm doing here. So my opponent's gonna activate the construct. Okay, they'll activate the saga. They'll get themselves a hammer. Well, they might not activate themselves the saga. And we'll see if they go for a hammer or if they go for a um, shadow spear. I always forget the name of that card. Okay, so they got themselves a big construct here. 1313. Okay, they have a stone forge. And now they get themselves the shadow spear. We can deal with all of, the, all of this with this cauldron here. Okay, they attack. Put this cauldron into play. Oops. Forgot about that haste. That hasty haste. And they scoop. We're up a game. I like it. We're up a game. Alright, so we're gonna reinforce the vigor. Solitude. Um Haywire Might. I wonder if we bring in a Gris just to have like a little more interaction. <sighs> Boarding out. Um I have no idea how to board with this deck either. I feel like I feel like Giver is really good. Probably shave a Tyvar. I don't think we need the Grist. Maybe shave a Tyvar stand. Feels like we just need to control the board. Hmm. Artisan might be a little bit slow. Maybe we shave down two Artisans. Go with this. We'll see how this goes. I felt good though. I felt good. Sneaking that game. Tyvar. Putting in work. Game two. That was a mold six too. Uh, this hand. I think is a keep. We have our druid, we have our ability to get a vizier, and then we have the longbow, so we actually have the combo here. So I think this is a keep, and we have a solitude as a point of interaction. So I don't hate this. All right, turn one hammer. Go, go, hammer. Ornithopter. Sure. All right, we drew another land. I'll uh, we'll play out the lair here, play out the longbow, and then pass the turn. We don't really necessarily need the longbow this turn because we can just combo with the lair. But uh, yeah, it's fine. I think this is a turn three kill. Okay, Steel Shaper's Gift, sure. Get a hammer, two hammers, two hammers, two ornithopters, too fast, too furious. Let's go. All right, Haywire Might, not terrible. But I don't think, I don't think we really need the Might right now because we, we have the Solitude up, so I think this gives us protection. At least I hope it gives us protection. Uh, we'll just play out our druid and pass the turn here. So if they do have a removal spell, it will take us off this druid, but 
Otherwise, I think we're okay. All right, Paladin, sure. We're gonna dump this Paladin in a response to an equip. Maybe, maybe we do, maybe we don't. Do we care about this? We'll take a hit, but I think we just win next turn. So we can equip this, right? Yeah, so we'll be fine, I think. As long as they don't have a point of interaction, we'll just win. It's interesting they tapped their mana the way they did. Like, they're not even bluffing a... Uh, well, I guess they had to with the Paladin. Get rid of the Stone Forge. We'll dump one of these. We'll take a hit for 10. Sure. Now we combo. All right, we'll see if our opponent uh, sees what we're doing here. Get ourselves a Vizier. We'll fetch. Get a basic. All right. We got infinite here. All right, so we'll equip this to the Vizier here. Minus one, minus one counter. Deal one damage to them. Minus one counter. Minus one counter. All right, our combo in here. The slowest combo ever, but we got there. All right, we're 1-0. That's, that seemed pretty strong. Could have wiped their board too, but... All right, everybody, we are back. Match two of our Modern League. We are playing against Braids88. This is Clinical Research with Devoted Druid. We are on the draw here. This hand is pretty slow. I feel like this might be a mulligan. I think we want something a little bit faster. Our six, we're lacking a second mana source, but I don't want to go down to five. I think I'm going to keep this. We've got our combo. I wonder if we get rid of, I feel like it's either Tyvar or Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan, or maybe it's the call. This Fiend Artisan kind of serves the same purpose. So I think we'll go with this. I might be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time I was wrong. Wouldn't be the first time I didn't know what I was doing. At round one, deck felt powerful though. Opponent leads Arid Mesa, fetches, gets a basic plane. So are we playing against Hammer again? Feels like it. Okay. So this hand's an okay keep against Hammer. This is a turn three kill, I guess. As long as we don't die first. Turn three-ish kill. Alright, opponent goes Marsh Flats, fetch. Another basic planes. Playing the basic game. Springleaf Drum. Stoneforge Mystic. If they get something like a Cauldra, that's not going to be fast enough. They get like Hammer, we could lose. We'll see. See what they go for here. They go for a Cauldra. All right, that's not fast enough. Right, we got a Cauldra of our own, which doesn't really matter. Play out our Devoted Druid. Pass the turn. If you cannot get rid of that, I have an infinite amount of Manta. Manta, Mana. Would like to draw a Black Source next turn, though. That would open up some uh, some opportunities to get to get crazy. All right, so they're going to attack in for five here, which we don't really care about. Take the hit, sure. All right, we want to draw mana. Can we draw a mana, please? Another stone forge. None of this matters if we draw a land. All right, they have a sword, sure. Not a mana. So that stinks a little bit. Um. So if they have a land in hand, well, I guess regardless, they can cast the sword. So that's going to be, that's unfortunate. So I wonder if there's something to do. Can I go Tyvar, untap the druid, untap the bird, vizier, and then I can go off from there. All right, so we got this, I think. Yeah, you'll get to draw a card, sure. All right, I didn't see that line at first. All right, so we got infinite mana here. And from here, what I can do is I can fiend artisan, <clears throat> um, I don't know what, I guess I get like a stone forge and then get a longbow. This deck is so cool. I'm just going to add a bunch of mana first before I do this. I almost didn't see that line. That was, that was nice that I, I was able to see that. I feel like Tyvar really opens up some big possibilities with this deck. Okay. I don't know if I need all that mana. Two, three, uh, done. Sacrifice the bird. Get a stone forge. Yield to the stone forge. Yes. Get a longbow. Cast the longbow. Equip the longbow. Okay. Maybe we'll play out a cauldra for good measure here. Okay. Untap. Ping. Nice. Got there. Was this turn three? Turn three on a mulligan again? Seems powerful. All right. I'm saving targets now. This is a little click intensive, so I could see how you could uh, potentially time out with this deck. Uh, if 
feels like we're going a little faster here. Down to nine, down to eight, down to seven, six, five, four. Down they go, one by one. Didn't take too long. It took about five minutes to get through that game, so nice. Do we swing in with the cauldron for the finishing, uh, the death blow? No. Okay. We're up a game. Okay. I'm going to board the same way I did last match. Uh, we'll bring in four cards. We'll board out Tyvar's stand. I wonder if I just get rid of both of those. I don't know. Kind of worked last game, so I think we're going to just stick with the same plan. Um, what else did I bring out? Four, one, three. I wonder if you just board out the cauldron in this matchup, but I mean, it, it did stuff the first time around, so. Um, what was the last card I boarded out? I don't remember. Ballista, Tyvar Stand, maybe another Fiend Artisan. Go down to two Fiend Artisans on the draw. Artisan's just a little bit slow. We still drew one, so that's fine. All right, so this is a potentially a turn three kill. Um, we are lacking, we're lacking interaction here. Hmm. We do have the call where we can get like a solitude or something as well. I think we're gonna keep this. This is a little, little sketchy, but I think it's okay. Let's see what Braids is doing here. Seek Room Coast, and they pass the turn, representing something like a spell pierce. We're okay with that. I don't really care if they spell pierce something. Right, we drew naturally drew into a vizier. Yes. Play out our Luxior. Pass the turn. Okay, they go Stone Forge. Sure. Let's see what they get with this. If this is like a cauldra, this is just a regular hammer. Okay, that's fine. NBD, NBD. Long hair, don't care. All right, drawing a land, not terrible. We do want a black source at some point. Uh, we'll play on our druid, pass the turn. So we need to dodge them killing us this turn. So if they have like, even if they have paladin, they just need, they need a couple of zero drops to be able to put the hammer on anything. All right, there's an ink moth. Paladin, sure. Play out a hammer, they'll draw a card. Okay, so we still have a kill next turn because we can just Vizier, infinite mana, call for a Ballista, and then kill from there. Okay, Marsh Flats. Um, I don't think that matters. There's the Vizier. Call, I'm gonna get Ballista. Okay, and they scoop it up. We're 2 0. Nice. Match three of our modern league. We're just cruising right now, just cruising through our opponents. Uh, we are playing against Wagic. Uh, we are on the draw. I don't think we've won a die roll yet. And opening seven, this feels a little sketchy to me. I think we're gonna mulligan down to six. Lots of mulligans so far. Uh, I don't think we can keep this d despite the fact we have our combo. We need a green source. So I think we're going down to five. And this isn't great either, but I think we're gonna keep it. And then we'll get rid of, I think, a Cauldra and a land, probably. I mean, Cauldra could be a win con. Maybe we keep the Cauldra. A shrine and a mm, temple garden? No. And a canopy? Go with that. Let's see how it goes. Might have been wrong getting rid of a land, but are we playing, playing against Hammer Time again for a third time? That's kind of crazy. Um, I think I'm just going to play out one of these lands tapped and pass the turn. Or play out a fetch land and get a a tapped land. We'll get a black green. We'll go overgrown tomb. I think I should have played out the Heath because it represents me playing Yogmoth a little bit more realistically. Makes them think a little bit more. Alright, they go Saga. This is the Mono Hammer Time League. Uh, we'll get tomb tapped. Move to our turn. Alright, drew into a bird. So we're Right now we're one card off of our combo. Um, I am going to go, I think Heath, get a basic, and just play out my druid. Do I want a plains or do I want, I think I want a forest. And we'll pass the turn. That was actually, that was a mistake because if I draw into an Eldamri's call, I want to have double white to be able to, yeah, that was a mistake. I need to get a, I need to get a plains there. Okay, so this is like an, Urza style deck. This isn't actually hammer time, so they can, um, like if they have like a portable hole, they can take me off this combo. So we're probably gonna leave Tyvar stand up. 
for a future turn, just so we can protect this druid. As long as they don't kill it this turn. We'll see. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have to rebuild here. Going to need to rebuild. Might be in a little bit of trouble next turn. Swinging with the Sentinel. All right. We drew into a Tyvar. Which doesn't do too, too much right now. I think we probably get our bird down and then Tyvar next turn. Just because if we play the Tyvar now, chances are it's going to die. So we'll play out the bird, tapped Temple Garden, and then we'll pass the turn from here. And now if they have something like an Urza, that's going to be it's going to be a problem, as Urza tends to be. All right, they had two mana, and they're not playing Urza this turn, so they're just making a construct. They'll bump up the Smith. They'll fetch. See what they get with the fetch or with the uh, the Urza fetch here. Chapter three triggers. What you got? What you got, Wagic? I mean, we can still win from here. So if we draw like a Druid or a Vizier. Now we need to draw a Druid and then mill over a Vizier with the, the Tyvar. They got themselves a Drum. They have three cards in hand. There's a Thought Monitor, sure. They'll draw two. Yeah, we're not, we're not out of it. We need a Druid. Druid into Vizier. One time. Take a hit for four, sure. Oh, I guess if we draw a Druid... Uh, yeah, that might not be able to do it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Godless Shrine. Not what we are looking for. Uh, we're at 12th. 4 plus 6. 10, 11, 12, 13. So I do have a lethal attack here. Alright, play out this Tyvar. Let them draw a card. I think we're losing this one, if I had to guess. Go to Stoneforge. So we can put a Cauldron into play. So this actually keeps us alive, I think. And we get a Luxior. Either or. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we get. I think the Longbow might be better. No, Luxior makes it so we don't have... We don't need to draw a... Um, we don't need to draw two parts. We only need one part to combo. Okay. We'll pass the turn from here. So we can get our Cauldron into play. Chump Block. We'll take a hit for four, five, six, seven. Potentially. We'll see if they just attack into the Tyvar. We have six cards in hand. What you got? So we actually kind of need this Tyvar to survive because this gives our Druid haste and will let us win. But I think they just go face with everything if I had to imagine. Nope. We're swinging at Tyvar. Swing at me. Swing at me. Okay. Put our Cauldron into play. We'll block this construct. So we'll take a hit for four. Tyvar is going to be down. We'll go down to six life here. Now they'll be able to make another construct, which is going to be annoying. So I guess our out from this point is another Tyvar. Maybe. I don't know if that's good enough or not. Nah. Okay, so how do we win this? For each counter on it. Okay. We could just play out the bird. Play out the Luxior. Forgot about that. We'll pay the mana for that. Should have just activated the Stoneforge. That was silly. Alright. Can we survive one more turn? Need another Tyvar off the top. Tyvar's sweet in this deck. This is a this is fun with Tyvar. Alright, have another construct. We're gonna take a hit. Likely taking a big hit here. Another construct. If they have something like another portable hull, that would that would be it for us. We'll see if they do. I think they might. What do you have, Wagic? What do you have for us? Spellbomb. Okay, we'll scoop it up. Uh, actually, I don't need to. Not just yet. Because we can stand targeting the germ, which keeps us alive for another turn. I don't know if this is good enough, though. I think we're just going to scoop. I don't want to show them this card. So, let them think they got us there. We're going to bring in our Force of Vigors to Solitude again. I think we're going to bring in a Grist in this matchup. Um, definitely bring in our Might. So, kind of the same... Same sort of things we're doing in the, the match prior. I feel like we might want to keep Tyvar stand just as a point of interaction. Tyvar's, I think, good here because they're not killing us as quickly. I don't know what you're supposed to cut out of these decks. I don't know. Everything seems good. Fiend Artisans, maybe? Maybe we cut Cauldra here? Cauldra probably isn't needed. Fiend Artisan. Call, maybe. And we're going to get a little less consistent. 
maybe a Tyvar. Keep in Tyvar cut one stand. Maybe we go like this. Maybe I don't need Grist. I'm the, I mean, I'm the combo deck here, so maybe I don't need that. Maybe we just go up to four calls. All right, we'll see. See how this goes. We're on the play. Let's see if we can keep a seven here. Oh, this is so close. If they have a portable hole, this just murders this hand. But if they don't have a portable hole, this hand is great. Are we feeling lucky? Are we feeling lucky? Uh, I'm going to try it. They mulligan to six. I would like to keep my seven, please. So if we can pull land, I think we go like... I wonder if we like try to play the long game here, or if we just go pedal to the metal, try to get our druid out. They keep a six, okay. Start with a fetch shock. Temple garden. Into bird. Pass turn. All right, bird, we need you to survive. We need you here. All right, surviving, I think. Drum. Mem Knight. Maybe not. Uh, it's not surviving. Uh, brutal. They have three cards in hand. Land. One time. All right, we got there. All right. Next up, Druid. We need you to survive. <laughs> Don't kill it. Don't kill it. All right, Thought Cast, sure. Did they break down a mana? No, they have a mana. All right, so we got our combo. Canopy isn't bad. We just don't have a way to, we can't, we're not hasty yet. So we need to, okay. So from here we start, start with a Vizier. I guess I could crack the Canopy to try to draw into something. I wonder if that's worth it. Play out Fiend Artisan. Like, is that the move? Canopy to draw into something? I'll draw a card. Okay, Force of Vigor, not terrible. Can buy us some time. All right, so we'll force maybe the hole and the spell bomb. And then from here, I think we're gonna play out a giver. And we have the kill next turn. If they can't get rid of this devoted druid, we win next turn. If they can get rid of the devoted druid, we're in trouble. Maybe, sort of. It's three mana, what you got? Nettle cyst, <laughs> not good enough. Not good enough. I think if I was building this sideboard from scratch, I would probably <clears throat> probably add a third Force of Vigor. Or maybe that's just like a byproduct of playing this league here. All right. So we're going to start. We'll add a white with this. We'll activate the Fiend Artisan. Done. Sack. Get ourselves a Mystic. Yield. Yes. Get ourselves the Longbow. Play out the Longbow. <clears throat> and now we have the, the kill from here. So you see if our opponent makes us click through this. Okay, and they scoop. They see it. All right. We are going to game three. And game three, um, I don't think we really change anything. I think we just keep this, keep this 60. Let's go. Hope for a quick hand. Hope for some interaction. All right. I don't hate this hand. We're not comboing right off the bat, but I think it's... I think it's solid. I think this is worth keeping. We have a lot of cards that we can draw into that are good, so I think we'll run with this. Giver gives us some protection. They're not getting out of the gates quickly here. All right, Stoneforge, not terrible. We don't have Cauldron in the deck anymore, so that's not as good, but I think it's still fine. A lot of really good draws from here. Okay, Bridge, they drew into, or play into a Saga. Two mana, Drum, zero drop. Soul Guide. I guess Soul Guide is because of Tyvar? That's strange. We have four cards in hand. Alright, we drew into a Tyvar. Um, from here, I think I'm just going to play out our Vizier. And then pass the turn. We will protect that Vizier at all costs. Okay, they go up to two on the Saga. I guess they could have something like a Pithing Needle as well. But Pithing Needle doesn't cut off mana abilities, so... Okay, they Shock. We have so many combo pieces in our hand. Like, we're just short on the Druid. That's the only card we need here. All right, they Shock. So they're... Which is weird, because they have the Drum. Not exactly sure why they would Shock there. The Longbow is Equip 3. I don't know if we have any equipment left in the deck. Um, so from here, I wonder if we just play out Tyvar and then make them... Oh, that comes into play tapped. Oh, I don't know if I had the opportunity to play that untapped last turn, but if I did, 
might have been a mistake. So we have the Luxior in the deck as well. Kind of wish I had the Cauldra right now. So I wonder if I go Stoneforge into Luxior and just like thin out a little bit. Use the ability, we'll get the Luxior and we'll pass from here. Okay. Curious to see what they get off this Saga. They can get a portable hole and hit the Giver. Okay, Dispatch hits the Giver and then they'll... Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, not much we can do there. So now they probably get a hole, a portable hole, and they get rid of the Vizier. We could really use something like a, um, a Force of Vigor would be nice. There's some big creatures here. Okay, and they go for a Spell Bomb, which is interesting. Thought Monitor, they'll draw two. Haven't played a land for turn yet. I'm swinging with a big 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, I wonder if we block here. I think that's fine. We'll take a hit for 8 here. Unfortunately, at this point, a Druid doesn't get there for us. Just because it doesn't have haste. So I think we need to save this Tyvar just in case we draw into a Druid. And we're probably going to chump block. All right, we'll play out the Ballista here. I don't... I'm going to play out the Shrine Tapped, and then we'll uh, we'll pass the turn from here. I'm going to leave up the Tyvar Stand, just in case they try to get rid of this Vizier. We need, like, Force of Vigor into Druid, basically. Even then, I don't know if that's good enough. Another Thought Monitor. It feels like they're pulling away here. I think we're in, I think we're in trouble. So, like, the way we could win this would be, like, Tyvar minus Bird. All right, they're casting a Portable Hole, targeting that. All right, we'll hit that down. Sure. All right, so they have a, the spell bomb as well, which is kind of annoying. And by kind of annoying, I mean really annoying. Um, so we're priced into blocking both here. Interesting, they didn't try to pop the spell bomb. Okay, they didn't bounce it. Interesting. Feels like we're pretty dead. All right, and still no, uh, no druid. So the thing about the Tyvar is they actually have to activate in response to the activation. So we actually have a shot here still, sort of. Well, I guess once we announce the target, they can pop it, I think, maybe. And now they're gonna spell bomb the Vizier. Dispatch the Vizier, okay. Yeah, not much we can do here. There's a Druid, but not gonna be good enough, I don't think. Oh, do we get this? We might get this, this is crazy. Holy crap, I think we win. Oh wow, I think we just won. I didn't think we had a shot. That is crazy, we just won this game, holy crap. I didn't think we had a shot there. That is so nuts. Oh my gosh, powerful, so powerful. Our opponent's thinking here, and they scoop. Gosh, I'm speechless, that was so crazy. This deck is amazing, so good. We're back, match four of our modern league. Currently undefeated, currently have not won a die roll. We're playing at Zeus87. Uh, opening 7 has the combo, however, <laughs> uh, we don't have any lands, so we're going to mulligan this again. Lots of mulligans. Uh, I like this 6, this is fine. I think we probably get rid of the Cauldra here. Uh, they mulligan to 6 as well. I think we get rid of the Cauldra. I mean, we have the combo, um, so that's what we're... That's what we're doing and what we're shooting for. It'll be basic planes and give her. Are we playing against Hammer again? This is the mono artifact league here. Kind of crazy. We drew into a stone forge, which is fine. Sand's a little slow, which I don't love. Um, I think we're gonna fetch shock, play out the bird. No, that might have been wrong. Maybe we just get a basic here. Basic forest, preserve our life a little bit, play out the bird. <laughs> Let's see what they're doing. Could be a mirror match, you never know. Could be. We're representing Yogg right now. Alright, so this is DNT, which I imagine is probably gonna be a tough matchup. Like if they have solitudes, I think this might be a tough one. <clears throat> we just naturally drew into our druid. So I think we're gonna play out the druid, leave up Tyvar's stand. And then we have the combo next turn, potentially, depending on what they do. I think that was that was probably our best draw. So depending on what they do, we could just have to win here. 
<clears throat> they got a call draw up their stone forge. We'll see if they put that into play. If they do, we should just win, I think. Turn three kill on a mulligan. Four cards in hand. They don't do anything. Okay. Another devoted druid. That's fine. All right, I'm going to take one. I'm going to call right now. <clears throat> There's a chance we aren't able to kill this turn, um, depending on what they do here. So I'm going to untap this vizier. Yeah, we kind of wanted a... Uh, Kinda wanted a another white source, so we might we might have to wait one more turn here. We'll see what they do from here. They try to solitude down the the druid. Okay, there's the solitude. They discard a Leonin Arbiter. They're targeting there. All right, we're Tyvar's Tyvar's stand. We'll protect that. Okay, doesn't get exiled. There's the vizier, and we'll actually have a second devoted druid out this turn. Yeah, we're just like a we're, we're a white mana source away from killing here. Second druid, they have two cards in hand. We know one of them, and we're gonna pass from here. We just have to dodge them being able to get rid of the vizier this turn. All right, here's the cauldra. Sure, a little strange they didn't put the cauldra in and swing on their turn. I don't know what else they have, but a little odd. This Tyvar's card is actually pretty strong in this deck. Really strong. I actually really like it. All right, they'll attack for six. Um, I guess we block. I don't know what trickery they can have here. I guess they might have like a ballista or something. I don't think it matters. I think we'll just take the damage. <clears throat> like they have a ballista, they're going to hit down the vizier, but I mean, none of this really matters, I don't think. As long as they don't get rid of our vizier, we're okay. Even if they do get rid of the vizier, we still have another call. So we can deal with that. Sure. This is a little... A little weaker, and now we can get, we can use this call EOT. All right, so they're tapped out here, so they're just dead. And we'll just get our Ballista. All right, so we got infinite mana here, and our opponent scoops. All right, we're up a game. Death and Taxes. Mono White League right here. Um, I think we're going to bring in the Solitude. I like the Grist. I think I like the Might. I'm not so sure about Force of Vigor. Maybe we bring in one Force. I feel like we boarded in the same cards in every single matchup. I kind of want to play an Emrakul just to, uh, just for the sake of it. I, I feel like that would be fun. Um, Cauldra's a maybe. I like the Tyvar stand. What are we boarding out here? I think Fiend Artisan, once again, a little slow. This is just like the core of the deck. I don't think you really get rid of these cards. Grist, Solitude, Might, Force of Vigor. Yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe we just a Tyvar and a Cauldra. Really, I don't hate having access to the, to the Cauldra. It's, I guess Cauldra, is Cauldra better than Grist? No, I think I like Grist. I think we'll do it this way. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This is a hard decision. I wish I had somebody guiding me through these, these sideboarding decisions. And maybe we don't need the Force of Vigor. All right, I'm going to board out one stand. And we'll go with this see how this one goes all right we only have one land this has happened quite a few times this league we're on the draw do i have cauldra did i board that out i don't remember already all right we do have cauldra which is powerful got the vizier we don't have a druid they keep a seven card hand i think on the draw i think i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna hope to get lucky here i probably shouldn't keep this but i'm going to I didn't actually look to see what the land count in this deck is. All right, we drew a land. We knew it was there the whole time. Play out the lair, play out our bird, and then we'll pass the turn. We'll be able to mite down this vial to cut them off of uh, accelerating quickly. And now from here, all we need to draw into is a druid, or a way to find druid, and we have the win. Powerful stuff. Thalia, sure. Thalia against our creature deck. We're okay with that. Our creature infinite mana deck. Sure. Dali away. All right, so this turn, I think I'm going to go Giver and Haywire Might, and then dump down the Vile just to slow them down. Get rid of that. There's the argument, I guess, to uh, to jump block with the Might and then dump the Vile down, but I think preventing them from putting a two drop into play off of that is more valuable. Stoneforge, sure. Let's see if they get a Cauldra here. And if they do, 
I think there's a chance. I mean, I can just solitude the stone forge. I get a sword. Okay, so we'll wait for them to try to equip that and then we'll solitude down whatever they, they sword, put the sword onto. Or I mean, maybe, I guess there's an argument to just, okay, they solitude, what do they discard? Another solitude, sure. They're gonna get rid of the giver here. They do, which doesn't really matter too much. Sure. All right, Ballista. So we can Ballista down the Thalia and then Solitude away the Stoneforge. I guess there's also an argument to just, I mean, we can get our own Stoneforge into play. Hmm. I don't, I mean, they have a sword in hand. We know about that. I don't hate just like Solitude the Stoneforge. And then they can't even cast the sword unless they have a land. And then if they do cast it, we can just kill the Thalia from there. So I think, I think I'm going to cast out the Vizier here. Eh, maybe I cast out the Stoneforge and just get a Cauldre for ourselves. Maybe that's our game plan this game. And we're going to Solitude away the Stoneforge. Okay. As long as they don't have something like a uh, an Ephemerate, that line works out pretty well, I think. So next turn we have our own cauldron play. If we draw into a land, we can get rid of this Thalia as well. See if they have another land to play out this sword. Sure, two mana vial, you can have that. You can also just equip this longbow and just ping down the Thalia, which I don't think we need to do. All right, courtyard is fine. So we can cauldron swing for five, play out the ballista, kill the Thalia. Cauldron swing for five. Just go and beat down plan here. They've already exiled two of their solitudes too, so I'm gonna hold off on activating this ballista just because it cuts them off of being able to cast this sword out of their hand. So I might what I do what I might do is pump up this ballista to a two, ping down the Thalia, and then go from there. So we'll take a hit for two here. We don't really care about that. Okay, they don't do anything. Three cards in hand. Drew into a fiend artisan. That helps us get towards our combo, but I don't think that matters. So we'll start with an attack. Swing for five. Okay. And I mean, maybe maybe I play out the Artisan here. It puts a lot of pressure on them. And then we have the Stoneforge activation up to put the Longbow into play at instant speed. Let them go up to two on the vial. It doesn't really matter too much. Goes quarter, sure. Four mana, sword, sure. Don't think that's gonna be good enough. We might just have a, like a lethal attack here. Like we're really close to it. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is just lethal here. But do we? I guess the question is, do we try to kill here or do we just bide our time? I think we go for the lethal attack. Let's see if they have a two drop. If they don't, they're just dead. If they don't. All right, we're four zero. Cool, cool. Nice beat down plan gets there. Plan B. All right, everybody, here we are for the 5-0. This might be my second 5-0 in a row because I, I, I'm undefeated with Tyvar as of so far. We're playing against HG2957. Uh, we are on the play for the first time ever, and we're going to take it. We're going to take it. Are we going back-to-back 5-0s here? Back-to-back? This deck is a blast. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. They reveal an Obosh. Okay. So, the question is, is this hand good against an Obosh deck? I think it's very medium, but we're going to have basics, which is nice. Um, I'm going to keep it, and we're on like the, the Cauldre play in this game, I think. I'm going to go Marsh Flash, fetch basic planes, get ourselves a Luxior into play, and then pass the turn. See, if, if our opponent has a turn one Ragavan, that could be problematic. They don't, which is nice. So we're going to go Stoneforge on two, get ourselves um, a Cauldra. Hope they don't have an answer to this. And then hopefully we can just beat down with the Cauldra. We'll see. But if not, we'll go Artisan next turn and then try to churn our value from there. So they kind of, they have to answer this Stoneforge here and now. See if they dump a Fury to do so. Feels like that's what's happening. They bolt it, okay. Bolt into Ragavan. So we want to draw a creature here. That would be best case scenario. All right, another Stoneforge, cool. Um, we will take a hit off the Ragavan, 
but I think that's okay. Yes, we're gonna get the longbow. And then I guess the question is, do I play out, do I shock and play out the longbow? And I don't think I do. I think we wait a turn here. Flame slash, okay. Didn't even give me an opportunity to try to block. They knew they wanted it gone. Swing for three. Uh, if they do have a moon effect, we won't be able to play out this fiend artisan, which is kind of annoying. They dump, they got a tie bar, which we would have liked, I think. That would have been good to get our artist or our stoneforge back. All right, so here we have artisan, longbow, and bird. Artisan's going to be a 3-3, which is nice. Uh, we'll shock here. All right, we'll play out our longbow to start with. Play out our bird. We're almost at, like, hard cast cauldra point. Oh, I don't want to concede. No. Untap. All right, play out this artisan, which is a 3-3, and we'll yield through the turn. See if artisan survives here. They have four cards in hand. Probably not going to. They're going to bolt the bird. They're thinking about it. They thought about bolting the bird or doing something to the bird. Bolting the artisan, sure. We'll swing. We'll take the hit. This Ragvan is out of control. Not having Young Wolf in the deck. Very unfortunate. They hit a Marsh Flats, which we're happy to get off the top. Fiend Artisan feels pretty good in this matchup. Like, as long as we have a graveyard. All right. Season Pyromancer, pretty good. They dump a Fury and a Pyromancer. That's aggressive, dumping a Fury. I don't mind that. We hit a Call. <sighs> All right, so Call gives us our combo, and then from there, we just need to... Oh, we have our combo. Okay, so we just need to dodge removal. Um, all right, so we'll equip the Longbow here. All right, this, this is a mistake, I think. Yeah, I should have... Uh, I messed up. I should have gotten the Druid. I mean, they have this stomp, so that cuts us off of, of our combo, but I think that was the line. All right, we'll add a green here. This is six, so this is a two-turn clock. Uh, we'll call right now. Use that mana. I guess I could get another Fiend Artisan, but I don't think that that wins us the game. I think I, think I have to get the Druid. Druid plus Tyvar wins next turn. So we'll see if that's good enough. They have one card in hand. We're going to take a big hit this turn. Hit for six. <clears throat> They'll play out a Bone Crusher or put the Obosh in hand. Two cards. All right, they hit a Devoted Druid. We don't care about that. All right, they play out the Bone Crusher. Two cards. Play out a land. One, two, three. All right, Obosh is in hand. All right, Tyvar, one time. Tomb tapped. No. All right, see how lucky we get here. Tyvar? Uh, that's cool, but we don't have, it doesn't have haste, unfortunately. It doesn't have haste. And one, two, so block there, block there, one, two, three, four, five. We just lose from there. All right, we're just dead, unfortunately. I wish Luxior gave the creature haste. That would be nice. That would be very nice. All right, we're going to bring in some Sanctifiers, I think. I don't know if Endurance is good enough. Probably not. I think we're gonna bring in a Might just so we can deal with, uh, so we can deal with Blood Moon. Um, Gris seems decent just from a value standpoint. Solitude, do I want Solitude? Probably not, probably not, but maybe. Force of Vigor is a maybe as well. Endurance probably doesn't matter. Hmm, all right, what are we boarding out? Cauldra? I think Cauldra is like a viable game plan in this matchup. Um, Fiend Artisan feels very susceptible to just removal. Luxior doesn't feel great just because they they have so much targeted removal. You need to cut two more. Tyvar is so good in this deck. It's so crazy. So crazy. Um, sideboarding with this deck is so tricky. Maybe we don't have the Grist on the play. And maybe... We don't have the Cauldra on the play. Maybe we're like in on the combo. Yeah, I think we're gonna go like that. This feels like a tricky matchup. They have so much like spot removal. All right, uh, I boarded out the Cauldra, which kind of stinks here. This hand's a little slow, but I think we keep it. All right, we'll keep it. We'll see how this goes. We have fetch lands for basics, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna leave Temple Garden tapped and we'll pass the turn. 
So if they play out Ragavan, I'm gonna Ballista it down. If they do something else, well, depending on what they do, I'll probably call EOT. And our best draw is like a way to protect. There's a Relic. I don't understand why people are boarding in sideboard hate against this deck, or graveyard hate. Seems wrong. Maybe we draw it some form of removal to start with. Like Stoneforge represent a cauldron hand by getting something else. I'm gonna fetch basic here. Basic forest. We're gonna be lacking on a black source, but the core of our deck is is not black, so. Like chances are they have some form of removal. Maybe I just put the, the Vizier into play. It's kinda of like a must kill. Or at least it feels that way. Or maybe I just leave the call up. I don't know. I don't know. This is tricky. I think I'm gonna play out the Stoneforge. I think they, they're incentivized to kill that, which kind of puts them on their back foot a little bit, so. And then I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the Longbow here, just because we have double Vizier. Like, Longbow has some text in this matchup, being able to kill Ragavan. Okay, they play that out tapped past the turn, so they're not representing, All right, so that's not terrible, um, but, we do need to play around a Fury here. So I'm gonna play out a Giver and then pass the turn. We'll see if they kill this Giver. Probably, I would imagine. Bolt it down. Right, the draw card with the Relic, interesting. A little bit of a show of weakness. Okay, third land. One, two, three, Blood Moon. All right, we're fetching basic here. Our man is online, that's fine. So we're gonna call get our Devoted Druid here. And now we can protect it with this Giver, unless they have two removal spells. So we can go Druid and Vizier. <clears throat> or I can go Druid and Longbow. And then Vizier next turn. I just don't want them to have, like, a Fury that can go absolutely crazy. But maybe we do this. If they have, like, double Fury, they'll get us. So we've got our combo online. We'll swing in for one. We have a way to protect it, and then we have the kill next turn, depending on what they do. Four mana. All right, we're going to protect this druid. Give it pro red. And now if they're tapped out, we'll have the kill here. Okay, so we got the kill. As long as they can't, they can't Fury Town, it's got protection from red. Play out a land. Another Vizier. And now we go ham. All right, we're going to game three here. I like it. Play out the longbow now. Okay, they scoop. Going to game three. Game three, game three. All right. On the draw, game three. I wonder if we just like abandon the combo plan and just go like straight beat down and just try to win a value game. Like Fiend Artisans over calls. Fiend Artisans like really bad on our mana though. Like I feel like we got lucky that game with them not having removal. Like maybe we just become a value deck. Like make them respect the combo, but don't actually have it. Maybe that's how we play this. Pull the Viziers. I'll leave the Luxior just because it gives me an option to be able to combo. Maybe we pull the Longbow as well. I don't know. I don't know if we want the Endurances though. Force of Vigor, Grist, Fiend Artisans. Like, is this a is this strategy good enough to just get there? We'll keep a Ballista. So like, this gives us the combo option, but we're not all in on it. Shaping on these Viziers. Tyvar's stand seems decent, still, like shutting them off of removal. Um, let me shave one Artisan, just because of how slow it is. Really don't know if we want Force of Vigor. We'll shave the Force of Vigor, and we'll shave one Tyvar. Maybe I keep like one Vizier just to have it as a, a call target. That seems reasonable. Just in case they tap out and they give us the opportunity. And we'll shave I'll shave a call. I'm gonna shave two calls. No, I'll shave one. <clears throat> yeah, we're not as contingent on the the combo this game, so we're like a crappy beatdown deck. All right, we got lands. We don't have basics, but we can call for a a might if we want it. We have a sanctifier too, which I really like. I think we're gonna keep this, although I don't love it. If they have if they have a blood moon, it might just be GG. Alright, Ragavan's annoying. Yeah, this could be like a turn two blood moon, which would be very problematic. Alright, we drew a bird, which we will cast out. Alright. No turn two blood moon. Dodge the blood moon. 
take a hit, see what they got. Hit a canopy off the top, which we're fine with. Flame Slash, sure. And a Stone Brain. So they're going to hit our Devoted Druids, which is fine because we're not really... All right, well, there's a Devoted Druid. Um, I guess we get that into play. Sure. Let's see how this strategy works. They only have three cards. They're up to four cards in hand. They swing. Sure. We're pretty far behind here. This turn one Ragavan's putting in work. And they reveal the Tyvar's Stand, which I don't think they're going to be using. Don't think that does anything for them. So if they tap out here, we actually have the combo next turn. We just don't have a kill card with it. If we draw into like a white source, we can get the combo. All right, they're going to Stone Brain. Let's see what they name. If they go like Devoted Druid, sure, that's fine. Really want to draw a white source here for this Sanctifier. Just brick ball what they're doing. They named Busier. We only had one Busier in the deck. We shaved all of them. Sure. Three cards. Two mana up. All right, so that does give us the combo. And if they don't have a way to get rid of this, I think they would have killed the Devoted Druid on their turn, right? I think. I think they would have done that. Cast this Luxier. Um, I guess if they have a Spike Field Hazard, they'll get us. So hopefully they don't. No Hazard. No Hazard. No Hazard. Are we going to get there? Did we just win? Feels like we did. Wow, I think we just 5-0'd with this deck. That's pretty sweet boarding out the Viziers, and still having the combo. Very click intensive though. Is our opponent scooping? They scooped. 5-0! Another one! Back to back! We're crushing it! Let's go! Let's... Alright, let me tell you, this deck was super sweet. I really liked playing this deck. This was a lot of fun. I might even build this deck in paper just because I had such a good time playing it today. It felt a little bit more fragile than Yawgmoth, but it felt super powerful and it can kind of win out of nowhere, especially now that it has Tyvar. Uh, giving your creatures haste, it seemed really, really powerful and really, really strong. And that might be like the missing piece to take this deck to the next level. Um, it just synergizes so well with what you're trying to do. Like this was this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this one. Um, that last match, like pulling that combo off, even though they got rid of our vizier, our soul vizier, uh, that was nice. That was nice. Tyvar's stance seemed really powerful. I feel like that would be a card you would want more of. Maybe not in the main deck. Maybe shaving down to like one in the main deck and going up to three or four in the sideboard. Like getting rid of Veil of Summer maybe is the way to go. It was nice having access to Grist. I don't know how good it is in this deck, though. Didn't seem as strong as what it was with Yogg, so maybe that's a, a card we can get rid of. Um, overall, I, I really enjoyed playing this. I feel like it's very parallel to what Yogmoth is doing. There's a lot of similarities in terms of how it feels and how it plays in that your creature-based combo strategy, you're trying to put like A, B, and C together, and then once you do, you win. And it's just a matter of like building out those pieces and you know constructing them on the board and protecting them all at the same time i felt like this deck even though it seemed to combo on turn three pretty consistently it felt a little bit more fragile or a little bit slower almost just because you don't have as much ramp in this deck so i could see potentially adding another way to generate mana as well um, I would imagine this main deck is probably pretty tight. Maybe you shave one Tyvar or shave one of these Tyvar stands and try to figure out a way to get more, more mana ramp into the deck. Um, but yeah, this deck was sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was, I had a lot of fun playing this. Um, definitely want to go up to a third force of vigor in the sideboard as well. Uh, I mean, that mat, that side, that league was very artifact heavy, but that card just feels like it just takes you over the edge in so many artifact matchups, and there are a lot of those decks out there, so I feel like that would be a card I'd want to have three of. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I would encourage you to give this deck a try. This was a blast to play. Um, I will have a new Yogmoth video on Wednesday, so keep your eyes out for that. And uh, we'll have another another video on Friday with a more competitive Yogmoth list. We we're brewing up something special for Wednesday's video, so keep an eye out for that one. We're doing something pretty different with Yog. But it might actually be good. We don't know. We don't know. We're going to see. So 
everybody thank you for tuning in thank you for supporting this channel thank you for uh supporting me let me know what you thought about of this uh this league and this list in the comments below and i will see everybody on wednesday until then you know the deal be well everybody